No, not from Clay. Yes, from Clay. Uh, we don't talk about her. I know, but she didn't work out. Oh, she worked out great. We just don't talk about her. But then he gave you another woman made from one of your ribs. Yes. And it was that woman that you served successfully tempted into eating fruit from the tree. Yes, yes, I suppose. And of course, you'd rather be banished with her than be back in paradise, so. I ate! And thus, I too was in the know. You knew the shame in private parts of school. I knew that my private parts distracted from my amicable facial gestures. While I'm trying to communicate with my head up here, down there, there seems to be an outgoing part of being an expression all of its own. <laughs> you suddenly noticed that. We couldn't help but notice it after extended, passionate lovemaking. We covered ourselves with fig leaves. And your leaves with nipples. From our fumes? From your concealment. God saw you hide and banished you both before you ate from the tree of life and became unstoppable. So I guess the subject of your soul is the one true God. Yes, the God who not only banished you, but made serpents crawl on your bellies and eat dust. He made you writhe like a worm. You are that serpent. First, I was his favorite. Too close for comfort, I appeared to God. How close? I wanted to love him. He rejected you? He concealed from me his private parts. What was he hiding? He didn't show me. He was protecting you. He was saving himself for his son. So you revolted. Well, I told his followers to follow me instead. He kicked you out. I made my home of pandemonium. I live there still. From there, you went to paradise. Yes, and from there, I came here. He called it Eden, by the way. So God kicked you out of heaven, and you got mankind kicked out of Eden. And now you've come, after all these years, to help us find him again. Here is a prelude to paradise. We are one with nature. You said it. Shall I take you there? From my understanding, only God can invite us back. We're born with an original sin, which locks us out. And that sin you is... You disobeyed his one command. Yeah, that one act of disobedience prevents us from being there today. We are at the mercy of God's Son. Are you familiar with that? God's Son will come as a man, past Messiah, to take over the sins of the world. And our banishment, he took pity on us. He'll get us in. So you're set. Any day now. Put paradise in the back burner until it comes, whenever that is. So talking of a serpent must have a name. What is it? Magway. I have a wife and two sons. Can Magway get us into paradise? So who's taking you to paradise? Magway. Who's taking you? You are Magway. And give yourself a plus, only you are clever enough to capture the great serpent. Remember these thousands of years of us asking, 
are you? And then the prophet, without us even asking, said that they were our Savior. Yes. Save us from the fall, lift us back into paradise, we're saved. And only the Son of God can save us, remember? Yes. Well, maybe the serpent can get us within the vicinity of paradise. What else did you bring back from your vision quest? Nothing, just him. Are you sure? Yes. No poison ivy? No, poison ivy? Because if you did, you stay away from me. No, I'm fine. All right, he can stay in the cellar, but tell him to keep out of the laundry room. I'm going upstairs to bed. Did you hear her, Magna? Magna? Don't call me that. Call me Bishop Faustus. Do you remember Anibis, Barking Deity, and all the monster gods of every kind who fought against Neptune, Venus, and Minerva? No. No? They sound like false gods to me. But gods, unless, as Bishop Faustus, I can take. I don't need to control false gods. You'd be surprised at how helpful they can be in controlling the forces of nature. I only want to be rid of the stigma that has followed me from birth. And that is? Original sin. I can get you to paradise, but in order for you to appreciate it, you must forget this indoctrinated belief in an original sin. I assume you know where it is. Paradise? Yes. Of course, don't you? No, it's lost. Is it something you remember losing? That's a good question because it forces me to confront that it's something I've never known. To lose it means you've had it, which I never did. Did you ever catch a glimpse? Well, if memory serves me, I last saw the paradise by the dashboard light. Was Christina in the car? Yes. It was a while ago. When I looked upon her body, she gave it to me willingly. And where was she at the time? I think she was still in her body. What happened? Lost it. Paradise? Yes. And that's when we conceived our two sons. Twins? Yes. Ethlyn and Charlie. How old are they? Almost 18. What are you doing down here? Get up there and be with your wife. I'd like to wait for my sons to come home. She worries. Are they identical? No. I kept them away from the mirrors as long as I could. One is a warrior. One is more a gardener. Both express a love for shows and a distaste for scripture. Oh, footsteps in the floor, someone's home. Boys, come downstairs and meet Magway, the serpent. You remember the serpent from the Adam and Eve story? No. Didn't your mother ever read you the Bible during homeschooling? Sure. The serpent serpent that went around biting me once. I uh, noticed when I went on a post. I'm only occupying the body of a serpent. Please call me Bishop. How do you do, Bishop? I've seen you in my mirror. You only see yourself. I see you watching me. I'm watching. I wish you never discovered yours. Rather than be blindly good, it's better to know both good and evil and then choose. But to know evil is to let it consume you. The choice is yours. You wish! The battle of good and evil rages everywhere, but not in paradise. I fight that battle, like in the dark night of the soul. Villains will rise, good will battle evil. Choose your sides! Paradise will reveal that you are riddled and ridden by hidden compulsions. Eternity will crush your purpose in life. Eternity kills everything. You 